welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is max um it's been a minute sorry but today we are going to be rearranging my bookshelf which has not been done since i moved so like half a year ish and when i didn't really organize them when i moved either so it needs to be redone and i'm going to be switching out my bookshelf um with another one but first i need to show you what the bookshelf looks like now so this is kind of the situation with the bookshelf i'm working on another one over there but right now this is what i got as you can see it's not really a normal bookshelf it's a wooden pallet i do like this i love this idea the only issue is that what it's sitting on is only one point of contact like there's not another board in the back so it's putting a lot of like strain on like this part of the books and since there's no other support i do have a book in right here i don't know if you can see it but it is there but i have had some warping because this is all open over here i've had some warping um on this book specifically and i think on this one down here you can see it's kind of frayed open a bit <laughs> don't mind my dusty books that is all cat hair <laughs> this is all cat level so it's just where all the cat hair accumulates but i have another palette that i will show you but it's got a couple more points of contact so we're gonna replace this one with that other one and it's a little bigger so i won't have books like stacked like this and like those down there and eventually i will get back to this bookshelf i did start working on it but the issue is like i need some little shelves right here there's stuff to do with this board and only certain small books can fit on here so this is a whole other project on its own that I did start a little bit ago, but I have not gotten to finish yet. So we're going to be working just on that one. And this is the palette that I'm going to be replacing the one in there with. This one is slightly longer. It's also slightly more fucked up and kind of more rustic, if you will. But if you can see on this one, it's got two points of contact. So this one up here, which is kind of fucked up, but that's okay. But it also has this one back here. someone was outside my window so i'm hoping that that will help alleviate some of the tension issues and it also has it on the bottom there are kids outside my window it's scaring the shit out of me <laughs> i have my windows open um it's also a bit thicker than the other one which i thought was going to be an issue because i thought it would stick out from the wall too much jesus that's not gonna be an issue because the books on my other shelf come out like this much more than it so this should be fine okay so with that long explanation about what we're going to be doing done let's actually start doing it so the first thing i need to do is clear off this entire bookshelf oh, someone's calling me hold on later okay sorry about that oh <sighs> why <laughs> Things always happen. That scared the shit out of me. Somebody honked. Anyway, <laughs> that was just my mom. I don't know where I left off, but I'm going to I'm gonna empty off this shelf and kind of organize the books into like different stacks. Yeah, let's get to clearing off the books on this one, organizing it just a bit so we can get started.
Okay, so this is what we're looking at. And I'm gonna be honest, I I don't know if I like it. Um, It's just kind of odd. And I know I'll probably get over it, but having this much space on the side and literally no space on the other side, in that it does kind of just barely hang over, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just kind of my brain being like, this is weird. And yeah, there's gonna be a gap because the baseboards, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm not just gonna rip the baseboards off. I don't know. I think it kind of looks neat. Let me go over here. But I also think it doesn't quite look nice, but I can't really tell because the books aren't on it, right? You're not gonna see half of this wood once the books are on it. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is literally put all the books on this thing and then decide if I like it. And if I don't, then we're gonna have to take all the books off and put the other one back and reorganize all of that. So, ugh complicated but that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna start organizing all the books and putting them on this shelf so let's get into that and just start doing that and hopefully I like it so I don't have to redo it all over again because that other fucking palette was so much heavier than this one this one's huge why was the small one so heavy anyway let's get to organizing some books Okay, my camera died there for a minute, so I don't know where it left off, but I've got them in piles. But I think it's time to start putting them, it's over here, putting them on that and organizing them on that to see if I actually like it on there. I'm kind of afraid that I'm not gonna have enough books to actually do it, so we'll see. This is kind of what we're working with now. I actually think I really like it. There's an empty space down here that I had to do something with. I'm gonna figure that out in a minute. I also wanna put something on top of these books, maybe on top of these ones, but for now, this is looking really good. I think I really, really like it. I like how, unlike the other one, it's not just stark white. So the colors, they pop, but they pop in their own way, I guess. I don't know, I just really like it. So I'm going to go around and hunt for a couple things to fill these things and I will be right back with some nice shots maybe. I do have still these books um, and a couple over there that I need to do something with, but I think I'm going to put them on that shelf over there. So I will also show you that, but yeah, this is really good, I really like it. Okay, so I'm back and I have accumulated a number of items. So I've got a bunch of stuff here in front of me that I would like to fill up these little spaces with. Um, so let's do that.
Okay, so I had to fiddle with it a little bit. I had some issues with the extra books that were going on the tall bookshelf and then I also had some issues with the top and like a little bit of leaning so I had to like drill it all into the wall and there's still a few things I had to do to the top but it's finally done and I'm actually really really happy with it. I did not expect it to look this good and yeah that's just my opinion. I might be a little biased because I love shit that looks like this but oh, I am so so happy with how this turned out. So without further ado I will let you guys go on into the final shots.